good evening uh, my dear kids actually today i'm planning of discussing uh, the theory lesson since last few days we discuss about the number systems and the mathematics parts today let me discuss the theory section and my plan is to finish this today if possible if not so may uh, in the next week for sure i will finish the lesson and i'll discuss the exam questions the possible exam questions uh, which can come from this lesson so this is about basically the ict basics and uh, we have learned so here let me remind very quickly we learn about data data are raw facts about something someone or some concept and information information means process data or meaningful data data are raw facts about something someone or some concept but information information means meaningful facts or meaningful uh, inf uh, mean meaningful or process data so those are called information so since we know information and data then we can proceed so this part we have discussed actually how to obtain they how to obtain information from a nic number how to process in nic number and get information this part we have discussed in previous video previous day and then we learned the information system the common facts about information system where each and in every information system it has something called input processing and output so for an example think about atm machine we have to give inputs which is pin number and atm card and we have to process that using system and account balance maybe withdrawing or depositing or whatever so the function happen after processing is our information here another example you give finger to the attendance system hr system you give a fingerprint and it will process and record your time of arrival departure and attendance data so that is about information so any system computer system you give in data and it will process and give you information another one so this qr code you give information so computer or your camera will capture that and process information and it will produce information i said that it is possible to generate right i said that it is possible to generate um, information from uh, i said that it is possible to generate information from qr code and i said i also in, uh, yeah i also informed you that it is possible to create qr code if you want so you can go to google and go to qr code generator there are a number of results here you can access one of these you can go to qr code you can access one of these links and go there and submit your information for an example think about contact uh, let's write my contact i'm going to type my name the son and the last name Nilanjana. and you can see the qr code generated according to that and organization let's say an email When I add information, it will be stored in this QR code. Later, you can scan this QR code. QR code scan You can get this. If you have a mobile phone with you, you can scan this QR code and you can get this information through the mobile phone. So if you have a mobile phone, just scan that and you can get the information. Okay, so that is about QR code. You store information, input and store information. This will be the input. I got, uh, so why QR code is used? Yes, QR code is used in information sharing. So if you want to share your information in convenient ways, small space, using small space, you can use a QR code. Because if you want to store all these data, it will take some more space, no? But assume that you want to send this 
uh, data to someone you can easily send this image you can take a photo and send it then the other end uh, they can scan the code and get the information it is possible to store large amount of data as a image in small space so that is the usage of qr code so yeah normally similar to barcode for an example in lottery tickets you can see barcodes and in books you can see barcodes so it can be read from anywhere you see a barcode scan barcode read that is also to st uh, store something in convenient way using if you store numbers and uh, if it get erased and all damaged sometimes uh, but uh, when you have barcode and all you can simply get that because it is very simple code qr code also that qr code you can uh, store more information than barcode understood understood or you need more details savani terunada right okay so right so let's move and then we discussed about uh, yeah this is another example this is another example and uh, this is barcode used to store isbn that is the book reference number it's the internationally accepted book number right so that is stored using barcode system here this is another barcode image maybe in library in books you can see barcodes in lotteries you can see barcodes okay so anyway whatever information stored or whatever information given should have these key features so you have to remember these features if you cannot remember better highlight or better write down a separate paper this is one of the important things so one one important concept is any information system has three components data processing and information onama information system ekka component tunak thiyena ek anivaryenma mataka tiya ganna data thiyena process karna information hedena onama ekka give data process that and produce information that is compulsory in any any information system you have that any kind of information system you have that features data process and information that you have to remember the second thing that you have to remember in this lesson is quality is of information okay think about that i am doing this lesson means it is information to you mama me lesson ekak karnawa kiyana eka walata information ekak it's coming to you as information that information should be relevant mage lesson ekak eka relevant adala wenna ono gollanta mama adala nathi dewal kiyena wana i am using only one hour this days but i said after january we will increase the time to one and half hours i have even shared you the proposed schedule so you have to ready for one and half hours from january athara mamme one hour athulata wena dewal kiyuwoth if it is not relevant to your syllabus if i said anything else not relevant to your syllabus then uh, that will be a problem because information should be relevant adala wenno and it should be complete i cannot tell this half away bhagayak kiyena bhagayak man kiyena kiyanne ha තව ටිකක් මම බලන්නවත් නැහැ පොතේ තියනවද කියලා so i can't do like that so it should be complete everything should be there perfectly i have to explain everything right so that is completeness and the accuracy whatever i am showing telling should be correct otherwise what will happen you will get bad experience in your examination you are preparing for all level examination ordinary level examination and if i said anything wrong that will really affect your examination results that is not good it should be accurate i have to tell exactly correct things and it should be timely for an example okay mathematics teacher mathematics teacher in 1990 maybe you have not born uh, you born after 9 uh, 2000 you are you all are millennials uh, okay you can ask from your mother or father uh, 1990 wala ganan teacher karabu paadama is it valid for today is it valid for today as well yes i get answers to chat i like to hear your voice maths lesson in 1990 mostly it's valid for 2020 as well maths lesson ganitha lesson ekak 1991 ekak den karoth eka denata boho durata valid okay hitanna bedima gena karaa kiyala 
දැන් බෙදීම උගන්වන විදියයි ඒ ඒ දෙකම එකයි it's almost same වැඩි කිරීම 1990 ඒ වගේ අදටත් වැඩි කිරීම ඒ වගේ think about logarithms logarithms in 1990 same uh, 2020 all again same that's the nature anu etta kai dan utta kai so it's no difference but the thing is when it comes to it so whatever i learned in 1990 i started learning actually 1996 whatever line, uh, i learned in 1996 is not valid now it's not valid it's not timely now i cannot teach the same lesson now it does now see anu me mam igena gatte kakko uganna po ekak den uganna ne it's not valid so that is the challenge in ict and that's why most of the teachers are failed in ict because they are not updated even mam me adu uganna ne ekak i cannot teach this in next year mam adha me ekata note ekak haduwa note ekak dunno note ekak read karot book ekak dunno video ekak dunno it's not valid in next year maybe it's changing time to time it's changing so it's really really important to make this timely timely then no velawata galapena vidiyata denna okay uh, can we take the time table in the railway station yeah time table in the railway station should be timely so it should be today's schedule it should display today's schedule for example today's weather with the report is valid only for today it's not for tomorrow today's news is valid mostly valid for today it's not for tomorrow those are the example and should be cost effective so why you all are learning online way mostly because this is cost effective this is saving your parents money your money and even this will save my money one reason is i don't need to move from one place to another place for an example there are students from different different cities students are coming from kandy some are from gol some are from kilinochi vaunia some are from western province so similar to my province so some are coming from anuradhapura some are from noarelia likewise it is not really possible to go and uh, teach in each each and every place but now all of you are coming online and learning that is cost effective way not just because of this covid situation covid situation ek it online safe ni habe eita wadiya ogola hituwa teka cost effective you can find the best teachers in sri lanka during this time you can find the best teachers in sri lanka uh been anywhere in ona tana kenda lanka ay hondama teachers la access karanna puluwa so that is an advantage that is cost effective Right. It's cost effective and set an advantage. And for you also, it saves your transport, it saves your time, it saves your parents' money, parents' time, transportation cost. And if you are doing individual classes, it saves your money again, home visits and all, because you can learn from being one place one time without spending much time and without spending much money. So that is the saving point. Right. That is cost effective. So. these are the features of information so please remember these features it should be relevant 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 means it should be up it, sh it should be matching with the topic so i'm talking about qualities of information i cannot talk something else it should be matching to the topic quality of information so i cannot tell that information has a time value and the time value is changing over the time and information is meaningful information is used to decision make take decisions that is features of information but this time we are discussing about quality of information the quality of information katha karaddi features of information kiyana eka nemei bala porath wenne the qualities so anyway whatever we are discussing should be relevant should be according to the topic okay so think about uh, you are you are asked to uh, give a report about covid 19 impacts in sri lanka impacts to sri lankans and you are producing report and in the, in that report it has more information about uh, bird flu or it has more information about dengue something like that but that is not relevant so they are asking about covid 19 impacts not about dengue or not about this 
uh, bird flu in bats. Maybe you can compare with bird flu and uh, dengue. But the thing is, uh, anyway, you can't, the major topic should not be avoided. So understood the relevancy? Relevancy means it should be up, it should be matching with the topic. Mena, understood or not? You asking question whether you can, can I explain? So anyway, it's, uh, yeah, it's matching with the topic. Completeness should give all the information without any holes. And accuracy, valid, should be valid and accurate. Cannot provide wrong information, it's timeliness. You can't give all the information, should be up to date, timely, and it should be cost effective. So if, if obtaining information, for an example, okay, your physical class cost is, let's say, you are, you are paying thousand rupees for physical class. Uh, and uh, four days you have to go and access the city. Uh, assume the access in city, it will cost uh, like uh, 200, uh, 150 per day and 150 into four, uh, then 600 plus this thousand, so 1,600 with the extra quotes, it will be closer to 2,000. You found online class. Online uh, class cost is, uh, let's say cost is 5,000. So now uh, obtaining that information is not cost effective. But assume you are doing normally, you are used to do individual classes. The cost of individual class is 10,000 per month. Now you are doing this online. So it's uh, less than that. So it is cost, eff cost effective. You have to always think about the cost of information. Right? Okay. Then information technology usages, applications of information technology, that's very important part. And today we are going to discuss more about that applications of information technology. Can you share me more applications which is not listed here? Can you tell me more applications which are not listed here? Can you mention what are the applications? Anything? I would like to hear your lovely voice, right? So because uh, we are physically apart, we are not in the same location. I cannot even see you, right? Even if I can hear your voice, I know that you are not sleeping, right? So better if you can talk, it's okay. Turn on the mic and talk. But if your environment is really noisy, it's okay. Otherwise, please turn on the mic and talk. Talk to the mic. Mic is on. It's okay, right? Uh, so whatever not there or oh, you can even uh, then chat so share in the chat even it's okay if you cannot talk if you are afraid of talking you can send it this in chat gaming yes gaming coming under entertainment but you can mention gaming is correct Savani you gave correct answer security Ramindu yes correct security what else only game in security. E-governance, they mentioned education, health, agriculture, transport, entertainment, business and industries. Anything else? Social media, that's coming on entertainment, but anyway, it is kind of social media. Weather, very good. Weather reporting, yes. It's also one part, weather reporting, correct. Browsing, information browsing, yes, communication, yes. What else? Can you add? You can mention anything. Even you can uh, say kitchen appliances. Correct. In cooking. Yes, correct. Right. Uh, what else? Anything else? In delivery, food delivery. Yes, correct. It's transportation basically. Yeah. It's coming on transportation. Anyway, so anything which, which is not listed, engineering, yes, correct. Music, yes, coming under entertainment, correct. Engineering, coming under industry, but anyway, correct. So let, let's write down this. So what are the other industries? These are there in the book, so I'm not going to give the same thing. These are there in the book, so I'm not going to give the same thing. You can just refer to the book for those things. But let me mention the other areas where ICT is used. So you can write down this. So e-commerce, that is anyway there, but you can write down e-commerce. And it's used in apparel. It's used in apparel industry. 
Apparel. It's used in apparel industry. It's used in e-commerce. It's used in, you said that, it's used in weather reporting. Or weather forecasting. It is uh, used in experiments, science and experiments, innovations, etc. And it is used in sports. Come in under state, uh, the entertainment, but it's, uh, still you can write. Used in sports. It's used in security. You mentioned this. Can you, can you write down this quickly? The other usages, other usages. So main usages it's given, main usages are, so let me write down main usages if you forget, e-governance, industries, business, entertainment, education, health, agriculture, transport. So those are the main usages. E-governance, health, e-governance, health, education, entertainment, mm, what else? Industries, business, transport, agriculture. Industries, businesses, transport, agriculture. Not only that, it can be used in apparel industry, e-commerce, weather reporting. Apparel is industry anyway. It's coming under industry. So it's covered. Sports, coming under entertainment, it's covered. Security, it's basically not here. So here, these are also industries, but used in uh, astrology. Astrology. Archaeology, astrology, like astrology, and what do you call Vastavidya? What is the word? I cannot remember. Mm, I cannot remember the word, sorry. If you can remember, let me know. So, what this is like archaeology, or oh, I cannot remember the word, sorry. And it's used mining industry and yeah, basically the mining industry. Astronomy basically coming under, uh, is it the same? Astronomy, no, it's not, I think. Astronomy is basically Again, astrology. Sir, what is the architecture? Architecture, archaeology. I don't remember the term. So, archaeology. Sorry, archaeology is uh, that. Pura uh, vidya, Architecture. Yes, architecture can. Be. Architecture can mention. Yeah. Let me check with Madura online and you can write the other things, huh? Architect Druhanirmana Shilpe Rakia, but uh, yeah, you can tell it to the other one also. Architecture, astrology, architecture like subjects, and for architectural engineering. Then uh, communication, communication, and um, in geographical information system, geographical information systems. Used in animal husbandry, maybe, maybe animal science, and productions. 
food science. And it is using literature. And it is using beauty culture. So can you write down this? So how it is using beauty culture? How it is used in beauty culture? Yes? Salons. Any idea? So, you know, for weather prediction, it's used, no? Weather prediction, have you seen that? Weather forecasting, yes, they can show whether it's even in Google, so even in your mobile phone, you can see the weather. When you log into your mobile phone, it says today's cloudy, likewise, you can see the weather. And it is used in experiments and innovation. NASA uses that. Today morning, I used to watch a video from NASA. They have given live session from their satellites. Live uh, virtual tour. So its uh, speed is around 24,000 uh, kmps, 24,000. So that very fast speed. Uh, they took us. Uh, to the space and virtually let us see the earth. So NASA live video today morning. I just watched that. And uh, so yeah, it's used in scientific experiments, innovations, like things. Sports, it's heavily used. Yeah? Sports will have forecast in well, the sport, you know, in cricket, you have three TV umpire and all. That is ICT road. Security, your CCTV cameras, security systems, alarm systems, fire uh, systems, and here security and disaster. I'll put disaster management, security and disaster management. Disaster management is like COVID-19 pandemic, how we see the data and information through ICT, how this pandemic spread and all. And it's used in astrology architecture, mining industry, because you can't send people to mine initially. Then the mining can boo with the patal. Api good aqua loud me patalako, netang, boo got the tail ni di aqua ke hoyana kote. The oil refineries are no, it's not recommended to send people initially. So machines are doing the mining process, and it is not recommended to send people, especially when. Uh, you are mining for oil, crude oil, or oil refineries. Why? What's the reason? Ministry of Agriculture, Makadhavi. Tell me the reason. Ministry of Agriculture, Makadhavi. Yes. Can anyone talk, please? Can you hear me or not? Vishma, can you hear me? Hello. Anuja? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Right, okay. Then that's great. Otherwise, I don't know if this is uh, any communication issue. Okay. Uh, Devumi? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, oil refineries will die. Ministry of Anaka on the net. Tell Gabada Valet. Tell Harana Tangwalt. Oil refineries or oil mining, why it's not good to send people? They will die. Yeah, they will surely they will die because uh, why? Uh, it will first emit gas. If you find fuel, fuel hamberona ni udim mati na magad gas tiye. Fuel hamberona udim mein ne gas ek mod baring adu gas ne. So what will happen ultimately? They will uh, end up. They will die. That's dangerous. So we are sending machines, machines and remote sensors in refineries. Patal walat the hai, patal walat samane langka hai na ye kapara minisu bessa the. Samane minisu unga bessa ne naya hai me kapara. He to initially what will happen in the mining industry? So sometimes it might emit uh, that unhealthy gases and all. There can be poison in gases. Therefore. After measuring only, they will send people in. 
after measuring whether the oxygen level is there and all, then, then only they will send people. Right, okay, that's why in mining industry, it's really, uh, and communication, yes. Geographical information system, Google Earth, everything belongs to this geographical information system and how flights find route, radar systems, uh, then ships, how ships are located and all. So all these are geographical information systems. Then animal husbandry and the induction, animal production, like cheese, yogurt, milk production, ICT is used. And food science. It's used, ICT is used in food science to prove food processing and all. So let me show one thing. Sorry. Hello, can you tell it? Food quality. Yeah, food quality measuring and all. Yes, it's a, that can be done. This is one thing. Check whether you can see my stream. This is a bakery. And this is how it's managed. But again, you not pull one you already. This is sometimes this is healthier than using people. Healthier than using people. so similar to that they are using machines okay uh, so you can just search youtube some videos are there even uh, pizza can be printed now so there are, there are two versions of pizza so one is uh, hand toasted or handmade the yeah, other one is machine made or 3d printed pizza Pizza can be 3D, 3D printed. You can just Google it and oh, you, you can go to YouTube and check. Uh, okay, just log up. And 3D printing pizza. So this is, uh, you can see 3D pizza printers. You can put the ingredients to the pizza machine, but not ink, right? You can put the ingredient to the pizza machine and that machine will print the pizza. And you can see the images. Now you will feel more hungry again. Right. Okay, likewise. So there are, technology can be used in such places. Okay. Then, uh, so the bakery one, I couldn't show you the full video. So here this is then the next level, it will be sent to the this kind of one. It's going up and then it will be here. So this is fully automated. This is fully automated, then baked. This is the baking process. After baking, it's coming out. It's baking. Yeah, after baking, it's coming out. This is ordering. Finally, the packing. Finally, the packing part will be done. The total process is automated. Human involvement is only for monitoring. Means you monitor So all the the full process is automated. Okay. 
similar to that the pizza can be 3d printed and all and uh, it is used in literature so why is it used in literature and uh, languages so natural language processing identifying human language um, so machines which can talk Vishma, yes, can uh, play and get hacked since root in the internet, but it's not the right. Yeah, uh, the root of uh, not every plane. So some automated planes can be hacked. Drones can be hacked, right? But uh, if there are no connection to the internet, so then again, it's difficult to monitor. And there are high security systems to stop, uh, prevent accessing. So there's a conference called DEFCON. Okay, there's a conference called DEFCON. This is a special conference for hackers. If you want, you can go uh, there, but it's not in Sri Lanka, it's in Las Vegas, America. Uh, you can go there. Those uh, These are not uh, normal hackers. These are special hackers. They can hack weapons. They are the special group of hackers. They can. They are not just hacking these machines, computers. They are hacking other devices like airplanes, rockets, uh, maybe uh, machineries, weapons. Likewise, these hackers will gather, and their discussions are even. I think I can see some uh, discussions are there in you. Uh, they are in internet, YouTube. Okay, then let's move. Uh, language. Yes, one is translating. So natural language processing, language identification. So we can talk to machines and machines can understand what we are talking about. So language is one main thing. Even we think that art subject it's not like that language is one of the main thing. Right? Apparel, ready mahana, ready Vienna machines, you know. Machinery, you know, ICT power chicken or pattern and then print karan naked, three D printing, breast printing. Right. That is happening in the apparel industry. Then beauty culture. Beauty culture can make up. Good color make up that. Some sites are there. Virtual makeover sites. You can go and upload your photo. You can go and upload your photo. Then you can apply different different lipsticks and uh, maybe different uh, hair wigs, hair styles, different eyeliners, eye colors, uh, eyelashes. Likewise, you can add different, different things and you can see how you really look like after that makeup. So if you're interested in that, you can purchase. So those are called virtual makeovers. And not just that, the cosmetic surgeries or plastic surgeries are there to uh, help you, in not, uh, not really in this beauty culture, but in case of accident and all, in case of accident and all, you can treat 3D printed, 3D printed ear. Yeah. So in case of these kind of issues, you can print and yes, print and uh, print and add after a surgery. It is possible to print this print ear. It is uh, even possible to print nose and some so especially in cosmetic surgeries you can see damaged nose is reconstructed using 3d printed here this one damaged nose reconstructed damaged eye reconstructed so that can be done that is possible in medicine you can call that medicine or health or sometimes it is beauty culture you can take uh, the 